KP6, we've been looking at books, like different types or different genres of books. And today, let's have a look at books that contain what we call fables. Now, fables are really simple stories. And mostly, fables usually are about animals. Okay? And the most famous fables were written over 2,000 years ago by a man from Greece called Aesop. And basically the idea of a fable is to teach people, particularly children, a lesson about how they should live. Okay? So it's a little story, and the word we use for this is what the lesson is called, is it's called What's the moral of the story? What's the lesson we learn from the story? What is the moral of the story? Now you might say, well, why write a story? Why not just say the moral? Well, because it's more interesting to have a story, and if the story is interesting, you might remember it. Whereas if you just say what the moral is, don't steal, don't lie, not so interesting. But if there's a story to it, then maybe people remember the moral better. So let's have a look. We're on student book 34, and here we have a very famous fable of the boy who cried wolf. And there's a little story there, a little story, boy who cried wolf. And here, look, you've got three morals, one, two, and three. Which one? Choose. Which one? is the moral of the story, the boy who cried wolf. And then the second thing I'd like you to do is look at the little fable at the bottom of the page here called the dog and the meat. Okay, we don't need to look at that one. The fable of the dog and the meat. And then see if you can tell me, what is the moral from this story? What can we learn from the story of the dog and the meat? So, that's two things. Number one, read the fable of the boy who cried wolf and choose which is the moral for this story. And the second thing, read the little fable of the dog and the meat. Tell me, what do you think is the moral? What do you think the writer is trying to tell people that is the